In this video, I'm going to show you how to fit an EM1 speaker into the Backman Class 70. If you haven't already watched my video about fitting sound into a Class 70, I suggest you watch that one first. I'm not going to go into too much detail about how to take the model apart, because I think if you're taking on this job, you've probably done something similar before. The first thing you'd need to do would be to take off the bogies. Uh, this will give you access then to be able to take off the piece of plastic which is under the chassis. Um, so this is the part that's got the buffers on, um, as well as all the fuel tanks and everything. Once you get down to a bare piece of plastic, you need to start cutting out the middle of the fuel tanks. You've got to go right up to the plastic sides um, and then you go to sort of where the slopes are next to the what would have been the middle of the fuel tanks where the switches were. Um, you can probably see from the photo more clearly where I've cut. The last thing to do before you fit the speaker is to just uh, sand down the sides of it or you can use a file or a, a cutting disc again but you just need to carefully take the ridges off so that it's flat along the side. Um, once that's done you can fit it from above and just use a little bit of super glue to secure it. I just put the super glue onto the speaker sides and pushed it in and you don't really need to hold it or anything because it's quite a tight fit anyway. At this point you can put the chassis back together and put your bogies back on. Now that you've put the chassis back together you need to bridge some of the terminals on the circuit board so that all the lights still work. If you don't do this you won't have any lights other than the ones at the top um, so it's an important step. Here's an overall view of the model now it's finished. I've added a couple of extras, um, I've put a stay alive in there because these models can sometimes stall when they're going across dirty track so I've added that for this particular customer that wanted one. Um, I've also put an iPhone speaker in there as well which just helps with the balance of the sound I think. If you want to do one of those it's best to wear it in series because parallel would take the ohms too low and you could end up damaging the decoder but series is perfectly safe for it. I've also gone a step further with the lighting so that you've got independent control of the tail lights and the cab lights. This is quite complicated to wire up and involves some remapping as well so this is probably something that's best to send it in for rather than something that I can explain in a video but it is something we could do to your model if it was something that you're interested in. 